dear students uh, this is our 14th lecture on bioorganic chemistry and we will continue to study the mechanism of enzyme action in the present lecture uh, we will uh, be seeing the mechanism for hydrolysis of rna the uh, hydrolysis of uh, phosphodiester bonds in rna so these types of bonds uh, these are called as phosphodiester bonds uh, they are catalyzed by uh, enzyme ribonuclease ribonuclease uh, is a single polypeptide chain uh, of 124 amino acid residues Uh, which are uh, cross linked by four uh, disulfide bridges and uh, uh, in this case uh, this enzyme catalyzes uh, this 3 dash 5 dash phosphodiester linkage of rna at 5 dash ester bond in a two step reaction which proceeds through this uh, cyclic phosphate and Uh, in the first step uh, ribonucleoside is formed and then this uh, cyclic uh, phosphate undergoes hydrolysis to give us nucleoside uh, 3 phosphate as the other product so basically these are the two uh, products of hydrolysis of uh, rna through ribonuclease enzyme so one product is ribonucleoside uh, and other product is uh, nucleoside three phosphate uh, which is having a pyrimidine base at the end of the ribose uh, alcohol in case of uh, ribonuclease enzyme uh, there are three uh, active sites uh, which are responsible for this hydrolysis of rna uh, one active site is histidine 119 uh, where Uh, this is uh, the one of the nitrogen is acting as an acid other is acting as a base whereas uh, other uh, is a neutral uh, histidine that is histidine 12 and then uh, we are having lysine 41 so these are the three active sites uh, which are uh, present and the position of these active sites uh, related to each other Uh, and in uh, relation to phosphate group uh, they are derived from x-ray diffraction studies and nmr studies and in between these active sites we are having uh, the pyrimidine binding site which uh, binds the substrate with the enzyme to give a stable enzyme substrate complex now uh, the basic mechanism of this reaction is uh, that in the first step uh, the phosphate group of uh, rna this one this uh, becomes uh, near to the side of uh, histidine 119 so uh, this is histidine 119 and uh, this phosphate part of rna will be uh, coming closer to this histidine 119 and then uh, histidine 12 accepts the proton uh, from this uh, two dash position uh, of the rna uh, and this proton is abstracted by this histidine 12 and uh, this oxygen attacks the electrophilic uh, phosphorus atom to form a pentavalent intermediate so this type of pentavalent uh, covalent intermediate is formed in the first step uh, this is a covalent intermediate you can see over here that uh, the substrate forms this covalent complex with the uh, enzyme moiety and then in the second step this pentacovalent intermediate uh, uh, this undergoes uh, uh, removal of uh, one part of uh, the product uh, through interaction with the histidine uh, 119 and lysine 41 then uh, geometry is uh, constructed in such a way that 
uh, this OR part uh, is apical and this leaves directly to give a cyclic phosphate of this type. Then uh, in the next step that is uh, step 3 the hydrolysis of this cyclic phosphate takes place which is exactly a reversal of the first step. Uh, whereas in the first step we have used uh, ROH that is alcohol whereas here the uh, nucleophile is water. So hydrolysis takes place in presence of water uh, then this uh, uh, cyclic phosphate undergoes hydrolysis in the fourth step uh, uh, when the basic form of histidine 119 removes proton from water and uh, rest of the hydroxide ions they attack the phosphorus atom to give second transition state like this and this second transition state then uh, this uh, negatively charged oxygen this forms a phosphorus oxygen double bond and uh, this phosphorus oxygen bond breaks and uh, proton is provided by histidine 12 from here and we will get the uh, second part of the product uh, that is 3 nucleoside monophosphate is formed in the fourth step of the reaction which completes the hydrolysis of a molecule of RNA. Thank you very much.